All right, the Piedmont's weather was dreary today. It was cloudy and from time to time we had rain. We had heavier rain earlier this morning and then we had some showers much of the afternoon into the early evening and it just wasn't a real pretty day. Our number is 55 right now. 60 our high 55 was our low for the day this morning as well. 35 hundredths of an inch of rain recorded at PTI. Temperatures across our area 55 is a very common number. We got a few 56s mixed in and 54s around Reedsville and Eden and Yanceville. Back to the west we got a 53 in North Wilkesboro and we got some 40s to near 50 across the mountains. And again satellite radar shows still a few little spots of showers and some mist and drizzle. Uh, just a damp evening and as far as the rain goes most of us had just under half of an inch about a third of an inch in the triad and a little bit more back up into the foothills and bigger rains in the eastern part of our state where some folks in northeastern North Carolina had radar estimates of nearly three and a half inches of rain for this system. As we work our way on through the night, everything rotates on out. We'll see temperatures going down very slowly tonight, so it's not going to be a really chilly night, only close to 50. And then as we go into tomorrow during the day, our temperatures in the afternoon will be climbing back into the upper 60s and we'll have some sun mixed in, so it's going to look pretty good. High pressure on the map is in charge right now, and it will be in there for us tomorrow. But then that starts to slide away and makes room for this next front to come our way. It's got some snow behind it. None of that, of course, for us. But the rain is with it, and that's going to start coming our way as we go into the weekend. Now, Friday afternoon, we've got some showers getting close, but most of them will be limited to the mountains and points west. Toward evening and overnight Friday night is when our rain chances will start to ramp up, and then we'll see the rain rolling through here on a Saturday. So there you see Friday still not quite to the triad according to this model, and this one's more aggressive than some of the others. Uh, but by Friday night and a Saturday morning, the rain is on top of us, and then in this possibly with us into the evening hours, then it starts to shut down and then Sunday is looking bright. And the great thing about Sunday being a beautiful day, it's the first day of the year that we get that extra hour of daylight. You do lose an hour of sleep this coming Saturday night though. Our beach forecast is 69 degrees and partly cloudy skies and that's for tomorrow and sunny skies and 65 degrees on Friday. In the mountain areas, we're looking at 60 and partly cloudy and on Friday a few more clouds and a high of 51 and there will start being some showers there during the day on Friday. In the Piedmont overnight, still a chance for a few showers for the next hour or two, down to 50 and then tomorrow back to partly cloudy with a high of 68. Your extended forecast, you got a good looking day tomorrow, not a bad day Friday, but there will be more clouds, but a rainy day on Saturday, 58. Dry weather for Sunday all the way through the middle of next week. A little chilly late in the weekend. Lows back in the 30s on Sunday night. And then we're back close to 70 by Wednesday. And then 8 to 12 days out. You see those temperatures right at 70 next Thursday. And still mild temperatures and rain chances come back up again the following weekend. We got a chance of rain on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Three degree guarantee to night's low of 50. My guarantee for today was for 53 this morning. And it was 55.